a deployed canine says three to five soldiers a day. That's a minimum of 27,000 soldiers a year that come home from Iraq and Afghanistan because of the dogs. So we were at an event at Cantini Park, the big military museum down in Wheaton. The military student services from NIU was there, and we were walking across with one of our dogs. Um, she stopped us to ask us what's the deal with the dog. We got a bunch of vets, we got a bunch of people following us, and we started talking to her and she fell in love with her. Um, we came out here for a, an event with military student services, and then Thaddeus, one of the guys here that's graduated from College of Business soon, he was there because he's a veteran, and he brought us over to the College of Business, and it just snowballed. I I'm an animal lover myself, I have two dogs at home, uh, and then meeting Danny, uh, just hearing about the organization, just giving back to veterans the whole nine, I mean it was right up my alley. Uh, so it's hard to say no. I'm one of the advisors, me and Danny are here every week um, to work with the students and uh, to help guide their process through the uh, project. So far it's been extremely successful. What it takes, the marketing, the, the printing of the magazine and just selling and you know the whole nine, this is all aspects that the College of Business actually teaches and it's nice to see it all come to fruition. We've done several not-for-profits but the, the, the emotional tug on this one is just incredible because not only is it for canines that will be put down if, if Save a Vet does not rescue them because they're considered un, unsuitable for adoption to the general public. The other appeal is that we provide housing for disabled veterans who will take care of the dogs. This is basically a social to entrepreneurship project where we're using business principles to help a not-for-profit raise money so they can continue their mission. We want to open a facility here, the Save Vet Husky House, and we want to hire veterans going to school at NIU to take care of the canines and help further the organization by applying their majors, what they're learning, what they're, they're passionate about to the organization. The students are completely committed to this. They wanted to help the organization. They wanted to help rescue dogs. They wanted to help veterans. And so they're very passionate about what they're doing. And we have the luxury that we have two veterans on the team. The ELC project is a, uh, is a great project. DeKalb has a, a huge amount of veterans and veteran support. So it was a win-win when we were given the opportunity to join the ELC and present them with an idea.